that be the best way to start your morning. We're live in New York City, October 23rd. The trade deadline is October 29th. We're breaking down everything you need to know. A couple moves made yesterday, and this one over here is making me feel like it's happening. A lot of action. More to come. Okay, we are not done with the trade deadline. Let me no, no, cover your phone, bro. <laughs> Why do I cover it, bro? Give <laughs> me the table. It's it's awesome. That's you, buddy. You got another one in that zippered it's pocket. Like, I think it's right. Dion saying, let me race Daryl Green and show him who's oh, the faster yeah. player. Yeah. It's for all the phones, the zipper. I've got all Maybe the that is. There you go. Peter, I never be a multiple phone guy. I know you're not. Don't not do it. I just got to tell you what the images that I'm getting on my feed right now, I probably would never talk about what he wears ever again. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I made some choices uh -oh. back in the early 2000s. You I'm might say saying. I had an affliction for those choices. You did. Oh, you had a rig dog affliction. Tags. I should have tapped <laughs> out. Thank you so much. Shadow <laughs> Hera is here, everybody. What's up, Sean? Yesterday, a few teams, like I was saying, they made some moves ahead of the deadline. The Patriots got Mohamed Sanu from the Falcons. The Lions traded safety Quadrate Diggs to the Seahawks. And the Niners got Emmanuel Sanders from the Broncos. I like that one. How does Sanders impact the 49ers team so far? We'll get into all of that, I guess, right now. In, in the, yeah. So what's what's the time for? Is it? Is it? I, I think it is. Yeah. Okay. I bet lead it's time lock. for the lead let's, block. Lead lead block. Lead let's do that. Lead block. Lead block. Lead block. Thoughts on Sanders? Block every yeah. 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 The Sanders edition. I love it. <laughs> Why do you love it? I just feel like he's such a great personality. I feel like he's very much unheralded. Yeah. Doesn't get any love. He's one of the better wide receivers. I was surprised that New England didn't make a move for him, but I'm glad that he's going somewhere that's contending, undefeated, as a matter of fact, and he will be the number one guy in that offense. There's some symmetry Sorry, here. Sorry, kid, I love you. Yeah, there's some symmetry here with the Niners, right? Like, they're 6-0, and and yet... Is anyone really saying, okay, come February, the 49ers are the team in the NFC? No, everyone else is talking about the Packers, the Saints, even the Vikings today. We gave them a love. In 1994, after several years of coming just a little bit short against the Cowboys, the 49ers went out and made a move. They went out and got Deion Sanders and said, you know what? We're going to actually be aggressive and be the aggressors. We're going to put an end to this nonsense. I think this is a statement across the league. And no, is Emmanuel Sanders in the same breath as Deion Sanders? Absolutely not. Right. However... It's the philosophy of let's be the aggressors. Let's go out and mm -hmm. get someone. Let's not sit and be passive. I love this here at the midway point of the season. And what Emmanuel Sanders brings, Kay, is not only a good player and their number one wide receiver. I think he is going to be that guy. He brings a leadership and an experience to that locker room that immediately puts them in contention because he's got playoff experience. He's been there with the Steelers. He's been there with the Broncos. He has fought those fights that a lot of those guys in that San Francisco locker room just haven't had. Bigger addition, yeah. him there or Sanu to New England? Absolutely. Sanders wow. to the 49ers is a bigger addition than huh. Sanu, who has a locker room already of guys who have been there. What he brings, he walks in there and immediately is, ask me anything. I can answer it. I've been there. I love this addition for the 49ers. And what you're talking about is Heisenberg, Walter White. I'm in the empire business. That quote means I'm not here to have a nice little career, a nice little job. I have big plans. And undefeated teams making moves at the trade deadline fires me up. Sanu and Emmanuel Sanders. And if you think for a second, maybe you're kind of a casual fan and Emmanuel Sanders is older or he's washed or he's coming off an injury. You did not see Denver versus Chicago earlier this year. This is when Chicago's defense had it going. Nobody wanted to mess with them. Guys, Emmanuel Sanders was the best player on the field in the fourth quarter. When that defense was gassed, it was Sanders in the end zone for a touchdown. Sanders two-point conversion. He had 11 catches against that secondary. This is not some clip from yesteryear when Emmanuel Sanders was in his, quote, prime. He is still really okay. good. He can beat coverage. Ice fires me up for San Francisco, too, because I feel like this was the missing piece, a go-to wide receiver, not Kittle. And I feel like John Lynch said, damn, let's go get this thing and win the Super Bowl this year. I think Love it's that. big. So he gets his first taste of action as a Niner against the Panthers. And their backup is on a roll. He's on fire and fired mm -hmm. up as well. Kyle Allen coming off a bye. He's been one of the best stories in the league this season. He has four wins in four starts. And like I said, an undefeatable, undefeated uh, offense or team that they're taking on. And it's a unit that, by the way, Kyle Allen, yeah, he's not overlooking. They just got a lot of dudes that can go. And I think when you look at them as a team, they're holding offenses to limited plays in games. So they've hold, held offenses like 40, 48, 50 plays for like the last three or four games. And so when you see that, your defense isn't on the field as much. You have more energy. Guys can go. And they have really good depth at the D-line, too. So when guys get tired, they can spell guys and not really lose much talent up front. And so obviously Bosa has been really good for them. A lot of the guys up front have been really good. I mean, they're just kind of rolling them in there. So, like I said, it's going to be a really good challenge. Dennis Daly better protect him against Bosa. Take a look That's at this right. Niners defense, Sean. They're ranked top two in points per game, total yards a game, passing yards per game.
opponent passer rating this season. What would a win over the undefeated Niners be for Kyle Allen and the Panthers and Dennis Daly going forward? Yeah. Well, I mean, it'd be huge. I mean, for Ron Rivera, this is a good problem to have. Uh, what do I do when Cam comes back healthy? But to go on the road like that and to play against this defense, I mean, this is the ultimate litmus test. You mentioned Dennis Daly. How about Taylor Moten, the right tackle, okay. too? Both of those guys have tough jobs. Here's why Kyle Allen's doing so well. The ball's coming out. Uh -huh. All right. Part of the reason why Cam Newton is hurt and was in trouble was because he was back there burping the baby. And I think North Turner loves the fact that the ball's coming out on time. It's quick. These guys are making plays like that. Right. Greg Olson, he's not just a gem in the booth. He's doing it on the field. But it, when it's when you have rhythm offensively, it makes everybody look better. The offensive line looks great right now because that ball's coming out quick, and, and he's letting these guys make plays. Two years ago, I worked the sidelines in a week one game. Panthers at 49ers. It was Christian McCaffrey's first game. He did next to nothing, but the Panthers won, and the 49ers didn't even put up a fight. It was the Brian Hoyer 49ers. To see where we've come in two years, that these are two of the best teams in the NFC, tells me everything I need to know, and it's McCaffrey going back to the Bay. This is where he played college ball. Oh, cool. I think this might be Christian McCaffrey's statement game. Game. I know the 49ers defense has been awesome. What would that even wow. look like? I also know that McCaffrey. 200, he's done a lot of these games. So nothing against the NFL Network, but at 9.30 a.m., not everyone was watching that London game against the Bucks. Not everybody was watching McCaffrey uh, against some other teams this season. This is a premier game. This is one against the best defense in the NFC. I think McCaffrey's coming, and I think he's had a bye week to get ready. Kyle Allen's a great story. Yeah. Christian McCaffrey going back to where he played college ball and putting a show on, that to me is going to be the story on Sunday. It's kind of like McCaffrey. McCaffrey versus Salah, isn't it? The Robert Salah, the defensive coordinator for the Niners. I will, though, I look at Kyle Allen. I think if Kyle Allen goes and knocks off this undefeated Five team, and oh. the best defense, I, I don't think Cam Newton ever plays that's, another snap for the, the Carolina story. Panthers. I don't think he ever plays another snap for the <gasps> Carolina Panthers. I think that's it. I think that, I mean, we've won 5-0. and oh, We just knocked off this juggernaut. Let, let's move on. Kyle Allen is our guy. I, I think that's you. the stakes. 5-0 and oh is a big enough sample size. So is 0-8, oh and, and that's what Cam's been, right? So that, those are his starts going back to last year. This, you know, it reminds me a little bit of Brady Bledsoe. Like, and people were then saying, like, injury shouldn't mean that you lose your job, but you have to play the best player. Yeah. And Bledsoe was ready to come back, and he kept – Belichick kept playing Brady. It was controversial, but it worked, Triggs. Yeah, it was. Prescott Romo is another good example. I'll just pose this. We've got a minute here or whatever. If Cam Newton was – if you were the Panthers and you were offered a first-round pick for Cam Newton, do you consider It's interesting. It? Like, what is the market? I'm sorry. What did you say? Does someone want to offer I don't think he's on the what? trade block and no. the Panthers aren't looking to trade the face of their franchise. But if you are the Panthers and the trade deadline is Tuesday and you beat the 49ers this weekend yeah. and someone calls and offers you a first-rounder for Cam and you got Kyle Allen, yeah. do you listen? A hundred percent, I listen. Yeah. I maybe even move. Like I would flip it around. Like I don't. Who's calling with a first rounder for Cam Newton right now? They don't know what they're getting. There's a lot of chatter in Chicago about make a move. The typical Kaepernick stuff. The Cam Newton stuff. I don't think someone's paying a first rounder because there's a huge buyer beware. I don't even know if it's Cam anymore. Stay tuned. October yeah. 29th is that deadline. Morgan Morning Football on the way. Mr. Cousins goes to Washington. Yeah. Going back home, baby. Looking for a little redemption, and he is on fire. Can he keep it up on a short week under the bright lights? We'll break down that matchup that you can see on NFL Network. And Kirk feeling a little, uh, you know, extra way about this one? Kirk.